Hello. Hi. Hey guys. This is an intermediate speaking class and we're talking about fair trade today. Um, so come on in if you have a reservation or just wait a minute and you should be able to join us. So um, to warm up, I would like you guys to introduce yourselves and tell us one brand name that you never leave the grocery store without. Or if you don't do grocery shopping, <laughs> then you. tell us one brand name that is always in your house, always, always in, in your cupboards or in your fridge. Okay? Um, so let's start with um, Furkan, because you were here first. Okay. Do you introduce yourself and tell us? One brand name that you never leave. <laughs> I don't know, it depends on the grocery shop that I'm planning on. Like, I might just want to buy vegetables, so I don't need to buy, like, chocolate or something like that. But if I'm going to buy something like, you know, chocolate, mm -hmm. probably I will choose Milka. And, uh, I'll, <laughs> frankly, I didn't buy any detergent or anything like that, so... <laughs> And no comment on that. Well, lucky you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, Milka, is it a chocolate brand? Milka? I'm going to type it because yes. it's a Swiss brand. Oh, okay. So, do you always have this kind of chocolate in your house? Sometimes I go with local brands. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're all chocolate. So, just as long as it's chocolate, yeah. you're good. Okay. <laughs> it's same for the other materials. Like, well, if it's expensive, it means that's good. Mm. That's, <laughs> that's not always true. <laughs> but okay, I see what you're saying. Um, okay, what about John? Hey, John. Hey, Samantha. Could you introduce yourself and tell us one brand name that you? Never leave the grocery store without. When uh, when I want to drink something, I always choose uh, Coca Cola. <laughs> okay. It's got to be Coca Cola, not Pepsi. No, Coca Cola. Coca Cola. The first, it's my first choice, but is there is no, but there are other brands. Mhm. Mm All right. Cool. Um, Ismail, what about you? Yes. Hi, Samantha. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Uh, uh, Samantha, I am not uh, buying always the same brand, actually. Mm -hmm. I have uh, not such a... Uh, Depension on a brand. Dependency. Dependency on a brand. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to buy uh, economically and uh, and I am uh, looking for quality for cheap price. You're I like me. It has to be on sale. <laughs> yes. Uh, there is a uh, milk and milk product uh, mark in my country, Sutash. I uh, I am a little dependent on this uh, trade because uh, it is. Uh, trustworthy and I know their production process I uh, saw the uh, fabric and I trust uh, in this uh, brand a little and I choose this brand products uh, okay. about milk and cheese right. something like that yogurt 
Okay, so sometimes when you know that a particular brand is really, really good, then you'll you'll always get stuff from them, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, Claudio, could you introduce yourself? Tell us if there's any brand that you have to have. Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Claudio. I'm from Brazil. I'm living in Rio de Janeiro, and. Oh, the, my favorite brand, and I never leave. Is in Brazil we have an, an, a kind of, uh, of I, I I don't know exactly what the mean grocery. I think that grocery is a kind of bakery uh, to sugar. It's a kind of cake. Is a grocery. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. In Brazil, we have uh, an, a kind of grocery. is very famous. Um, this name is Confetti. It's a kind of M M, but for me, <laughs> Confetti is better. <laughs> so what? What exactly is it? It's something that you bake with. It's a kind of candy. It's oh, a candy. Okay. Yeah. It's um. Do you know M M M M M M's? M M's. It's American. A famous yeah, American. Yes. Yeah. Confetti. Yeah. Confetti. Confetti is a Brazilian M M. Oh, okay. But so. but but uh, but for me, I I really love. Um, that's it. Okay, so can I'm right. I I answer. I answer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're, 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 they ask it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're answering the question. So your groceries okay. are anything that you buy at the supermarket. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Like fruits and vegetables, chocolate, milk, whatever, whatever. Any sort of food that you buy. Oh yes, for me, chocolate, chocolate. Mm -hmm. Any, uh, any, any brand. <laughs> exactly. Um. I always have to have chocolate too, so <laughs> I understand. <laughs> um, Furkan, you're trying to call me out on the in here, but you can say in here when you're talking about being in a room, just not when you're talking about in a country or like a city. Hmm. So if you're ever referring to Turkey, you can't say in here. But if you're referring to your living room, you can say it's dark in here. Okay, the difference. Um, uh, okay, thanks, Claudio. Um, Zomari, are you there? Yes, good job. Yes, hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. Um, my name is Zomari. I'm from Puerto Rico. And one thing I never leave the grocery store without it is the dough. Is a chocolate? <laughs> All of us have to have chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I always make chocolate in my home. Mm -hmm. Is there a certain brand of chocolate that you really like? Yes, the name is Dove. Dove. Okay. Dove. Oh, Dove. 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 Yeah, it sounds like this. Dove. Okay, Dove. And um, I like the the pink one. Okay, so Every time you go grocery shopping, you always buy Dove chocolate? <laughs> yeah, always. Um, okay, and Sergio? Sergio, are you there? Hi, Samantha. Hey, how are you? Yeah, hey, I'm here. <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Oh, cool. Okay, um... First, I'll introduce. Okay, uh, my name is Sergio, and I'm from Brazil, and I live in a city called Recife, uh, the Venice of Brazilian Venice. <laughs> and well, I'm no uh, uh, grocery assiduous, but when I go there, I always buy something like uh, chocolate. Uh, beer, um, but uh, uh, talking uh, about brand exactly, uh, maybe Coca-Cola is a uh, that's I remember first of all. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is my preferred, not my preferred, but uh, this is a brand that I I use to buy. Yeah, you trust it, right? Something that you trust. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, most of the time, I just buy whatever is the cheapest. <laughs> mm, I <good>. think. <laughs> um, but there's certain things where I'll buy the brand name, like my laundry detergent. I have to buy a certain brand because I have sensitive skin and they'll get all blotchy. Mm. Or, no, Firkin, I'm actually not that picky about coffee. I'll just buy the cheapest coffee. But, yeah. yeah. That's why I see the same cup every day. I don't have one today. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, Tim Hortons, it... It's takeout, right? So that's not really groceries. Um, he's talking about Tim Hortons coffee. It's like the Canadian coffee brand that we love. But um, I just love coffee, so I'll try any kind of coffee. <laughs> I don't care what it is. If it's on sale, I'll buy it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Colombian coffee, yes, Colombian coffee. I have had it, but I don't know if it's the real deal. <laughs> uh, like grocery store Colombian coffee, I don't know. Um, okay, so today we're going to talk about fair trade. So first of all, um, what does that mean? Can anyone tell us what does fair trade mean? So I was looking at Google. There was a website about it, and they were saying like it's like. Uh, some companies are joining that group or, you know, they're accepting those rules. So according to their rules, then the workers has to be uh, higher, has to get higher salary than their minimum requirement. Mm-hmm. And their work conditions would be, uh, would require or pass the minimum requirements again. And there are all sorts of things about workers. Yeah, to transfer goods. Yes, so trading is transferring the goods, Mustafa, but then the question is the fair. What does it? What do they mean by fairly trading something? Mm, okay. Firkin, you found the UK one. I have the Canadian site. <laughs> of course, fairtrade.ca. Um, so, oops, fair trade, it's a, a different way of doing business. It's about making principles of fairness and decency mean something in the marketplace. Um, It seeks to change the terms of trade for the products we buy to ensure that farmers and artisans behind the products get a better deal. So better prices for producers, um, better relationships. Basically, it's about not exploiting the farmers and the, the people who are growing a product. Um, and for example, I don't know if they advertise it on their website, but they might start. Yeah, they do. So Starbucks advertises about their responsible coffee. So, um, it should say fair trade somewhere in here. Yeah. They have fair trade labeling. So they sell fair trade coffee, fair trade certified coffee empowers small-scale farmers to invest in their farms and communities, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) So Starbucks began purchasing fair trade coffee in 2000. So that's one brand that we use fairly, or we fairly trade as coffee. Um, So better profits. How so, Mustafa? Better profits for who? I don't know. (laughs) Maybe for the farmer. <laughs> hmm. What do you think the benefits are of fairly trading goods? Like, if people care about it, then they will try to choose those companies who are um, join that organization instead of the companies who reject that offer. Okay. And what are the benefits um, to the consumer for, for choosing the fair trade? How is that beneficial for a consumer? Uh, I think there won't be any 
crazy prices. Like, if there's a monopoly on the market, they can't... If they accept that uh, rules, they can't um, increase the price whatever they want, whenever they want. There has to be a rule that they have to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, I think I have... Got... Sorry, Sorry, Ismail? Uh, if we mm -hmm. choose fair trade products, maybe we can help some people who are working in difficult condition and who are living under poverty, uh, a little help, but it must be uh, the trade in a fairly manner, mm -hmm. actually. Right. So it's giving more money back to the farmers who are growing the products, which means they have more funds to invest in the products to make them good for us, right? So it's beneficial for the farmers and for the consumers. Um, so what fair trade products have you seen in stores? I just <laughs> helped you and gave you a list there. But think um, of when you've gone shopping. Can you think of any products that we often see fairly traded besides coffee? Or have you ever heard of this? Yeah. Are you asking yes. the products or the companies? It doesn't have to be the company necessarily, but just products in general. Tea, for example, like Mustafa. There's, There's one. That you might see a lot of tea brands that are labeled fair trade. Like Coco. Coca <laughs> How do you read that? Cacao. Okay. <laughs> Coco. Coco. Cacao. Coconut. Coco. Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. Why is that a big one? <laughs> because uh, the workers in Africa and South America, they have bad conditions. Mm -hmm. And we did another class on that, on the cocoa yeah, fields and slavery workers. farms. Yeah. So that's a big one, cocoa. Can you think of any others? Clothing. Thank okay, John. Clothing. Why clothing? Sorry, Ismail, did you want to say something? Yes, Samantha. Uh, there was a, a catastrophe in Bangladesh in a, a clothing, clothing building, I think. Mm -hmm. Many people uh, are died under this construction under this building wall. Uh, there was no earthquake, but the building was not enough uh, good and strong. Uh, lots of uh, workers are working in this building and they are going to produce uh, some clothing all our, uh, for uh, brand uh, firm all over the world. Right, so sweatshops this smell? Yes, I think uh, we are uh, responsible a little mm -hmm. So these people who are uh, going to die in this building. Right, so usually fair trade is used more often to talk about food, um, but we also use it to talk about other goods, like cotton is another one. So if clothing is made with fair trade cotton, then you could say that the clothing is fair trade. I think that the issue of sweatshops is definitely related, completely related, but I don't know if you would necessarily label a brand as fair trade you would say where it, where it's made or sweatshop free people even use sometimes I think I before let me see if um, it was um, American Apparel yeah they they advertise on American Apparel have you heard of this store yeah they advertise that they're sweatshop free they put that on their door now. 
so that's an example of a company trying to show like we our clothing was not produced mass produced in a sweatshop so some clo some clothing companies are doing that now um, someone said rice Mustafa said rice okay coffee coffee yeah um, here's a little bit of a list Cotton flowers. Someone just said flowers. Yes, flowers, teas, hot chocolate, dried fruits, fresh fruits. Um, so the problem, sometimes the problem is related to the working conditions for people, and sometimes it's related more to individual farmers. But either way, it's trying to fairly pay people for what they're doing, right? Um, here's another question. Do you check where a product is made before you buy it? Yes. Always? <laughs> Not always, but I generally <laughs> check them because it changes lots of things, I think. Okay. For example, uh, you buy uh, a big... Uh, Named film a product, product, but the place which are produced are changing many things. Not same. Actually, okay. it doesn't change my idea. Idea about the product. For example, if I look at that hat, and if it says uh, this product is made in China or Thailand. It wouldn't change my mind because everything is produced in China or Thailand or uh, in those countries. So I don't know if you can find any any products produced in I don't know maybe United States or Europe. But uh, I'm not sure would it be change would it change anything like the quality? I think probably will be same. And if the pro if the quality changes. Probably the price will be really different. Okay. So you're comfortable buying cheaper products, a cheaper hat that's made in China rather than a more expensive hat that's made. Like well, it's really hard to find something which is not produced in China. Uh, okay. <laughs> not necessarily, but I yeah. know what you're saying. A lot of a lot, a lot, a lot of things are mass produced from certain areas, definitely. I'm um, not going to hunt for products which are produced in the United States. Right. Some people do, though. That's kind of the thing. Some people do buy things based on where it's from. Yeah, what about. That's obsession. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> um, who else? We haven't heard from um, Rodolfo. Yes. So, do you check where your products are are made before you buy them? Yes. Yes, but uh, just for uh, curiosity, <laughs> I want to I want to know uh, where uh, my shirts or my pants or also uh, my computer comes from, and mm -hmm. most of the time is from China or from Thailand. Okay. Um, so you buy it and then you check because you're curious. <laughs> no, uh, I buy before. I, uh, I check before I buy. Yeah, but okay. Yes. But does it influence your decision or no? Not really. Mm, not really. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. If I like it in, and if I know that it's it has very good quality, uh, I buy it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, does. Is anyone here influenced by where something is made before they purchase it? Mm, I actually feel fair if I buy something from brand I don't know. For example, mm -hmm. I usually buy KitKat. I know it's a brand, but if there are <laughs> a new brand in chocolate, uh, mm -hmm. I was just worry if. It's good. I don't know this company. Sometimes I do that. So you're m focused on knowing that you trust the brand. Yeah, so okay. something 
I tried before and I know it's good. Do you guys ever buy your food locally, like from a market? What do you mean? Or do you yes. go to, always, always go to a grocery store? What's the difference between a market and a grocery store? Um, well, uh, here uh, in the market you can find products that come from the United States and because they travel th there and they buy the things there mm -hmm. and they return to sell the, the things a bit uh, uh, with, a, with a price higher than, than the US but uh, cheaper than, than what it would be here in Mexico. Right. And talking about food, uh, I think uh, the food in the market is uh, fresher than in the supermarkets or mm -hmm. in the grocery store. Yeah. So a lot of the time, food from the markets is m local, fresher. Um, there will also be imported stuff, but it's usually fresher than at a grocery store. So markets are often outdoors a lot of the time. Not always. There are indoor markets too. But it's where there's lots of stands set up with vendors, like individual Ooh. vendors, versus a grocery store. You just go in, shop, buy everything, and then take it to the cashier, right? It's different. Yes. Um, so, yeah, good point. Does anyone else ever shop at a market rather I than do. a grocery store? My parents always uh, shop from markets if they want to buy vegetables or uh, fruits because they don't trust uh, grocery stores that much. Actually, I didn't know the difference. I thought markets are the places that you buy and uh, give the cashier. That's so. a supermarket. A supermarket and a grocery store are the same thing. Yeah. A market is different. Like we call it a farmer's market sometimes, but the market, just market, it can be outdoors or indoors, but it always has vendors. Yeah, here there are some markets that's built only in one day, uh, in a week or on a week. Then they go there and buy whatever they want because the sellers or vendors are uh, coming from small town. They're producing themselves. So. For me, um, I always feel better when I buy things from market. <laughs> feel like what? I'm. Why? So? Why? Because I, when I'm buying things from a farmers market, and I'm talking to the person who either knows the person who grew it or grew it themselves, and I'm giving them money. I don't know. I just feel better. <laughs> I feel better about it than buying it from a grocery store where it's been imported. Does anyone ha no, that's not why, so I can haggle with them? No. Um, Ismail, what do you think? Do you ever do, do you ever think about that? Do you ever shop at markets? Well, yes, I personally don't like. Sometimes I generally uh, shop on the market, and in my country there are uh, open bazaar. Mm -hmm. In which. Uh, We can buy uh, vegetables and fruits, fresh vegetables and fruits. Yeah. And for example, in my neighborhood, every Sunday, it was built a open bazaar. Generally, people are going to the bazaar and buy uh, their vegetables and fruit from the bazaar. Okay. Uh, Samantha. Yes, yeah, Claudia. Yeah, in Brazil we have a sort of uh, market, but it is a uh, open market and uh, outside. Uh, we call it feira, and in in this market, uh, uh, in in some some regions, and uh, uh, the people. That are are sell your products are really poor people or or not, but in in other cities are really rich people. But in in, in this the small cities, 
uh, the people that work in, in, in feiras, in open markets, are very poor and your products, uh, their products, their products yep. mm -hmm. are really good and really, really cheaper. Yeah. Uh, if we compare to the supermarket, uh, in somewhere, uh, uh, some some big chains of markets uh, buying uh, their products uh, that people that people. Sorry, I'm 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 really no, for I, <laughs> all words. <laughs> But 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 uh, it's a kind of market. I don't know if you are talking exactly yeah, about. Yeah, that's what this, I'm. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. But 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 I in Brazil, it's a great alternative to big chains of supermarket because uh, their products are really good, really cheaper, and you are helping the. Poor workers. Yeah, exactly. So it's okay. cheaper, right? It's fresh. It's local. You know, yes. you know that you're helping people, and that's how they're making their money. So that's yeah. I, I'm on the same page as yes, you for yes. sure. Um, yeah. yeah, John. What were you gonna say, John? Oh, similar. That was saying, Claudio. Here in Colombia, you can get those markets. We call that gallery. Gallery. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, but it's where the little grocery stores get their supplies. It's where all, all the all the market is fresh every day, in, in, every early in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a little mess. It's a lot of mess. Too many people, uh, not much order. So I don't like for that. I I like more more comfort, comfort uh, going to a supermarket. Or a, a grocery store where I can get with a car, <laughs> and carry okay. all all the all the vegetables. So those open markets can get a little busy, a little hectic. Yes, yes. So yeah. I don't like for that. Mm -hmm. But if you can, if you want uh, low prices and uh, fresh, uh, is the better, but the better the best place to go. Mm -hmm. And you know that the farmer gets all of the money, or most of it, right? Yeah, the most of the yes. Yeah. Um, any other thoughts about open air markets, outdoor markets versus supermarkets? I like supermarkets. You pr okay? Like why? Why do you because, prefer them? Uh, if I'm going to buy vegetable, probably I would choose open my open air. But in other conditions, I don't like people like looking at me and waiting for me to choose something because I feel like I'm under pressure like they're looking at me come on choose something even in normal uh, stores like for example when you try to buy a dress they're looking at you and they are forcing you into a product that they that is on sale and I don't like that pressure I want to choose freely not dresses, clothes, shirts okay yeah, John's kind of on the same page, I think. So feeling like people are a little pushy sometimes. A little. <laughs> so why do you think that vendors at an open market would be pushy? Why? Uh, they want you to buy it. Why do they want you to buy it so badly? There's a tradition. Yeah, okay, it's a tradition. That's one reason for sure. Something that like Claudio said. <laughs> I don't know, but in Brazil, in Brazil we have a big, a big chance of supermarket. Um, they, they really, really are, are, are big, pushy. I don't, I don't know if you are saying pushy, pushy, P pushy, pushy. Yeah, pushy is is a really. Um, uh, they have uh, a really strange, stranger uh, media, and how oh, I, I don't know how to say it, because uh, they have uh, uh, they 
shows in, in, in television, they have uh, marketing, tele, television marketing, uh, they have uh, uh, very power. And, but I, I think that uh, their products are uh, uh, they they buying big big uh, Samantha sorry I forgot so they're uh, buying they, no 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 it's okay so they're they're buying um it's it's the difference between buying massively marketed goods from rich companies and buying I don't know yes, if, yes the the products of the the group. Yeah. Um, as a kind of product, uh, is is buying big quantity, big biggie quantity, a big quantity, big quantity, yes, big mm -hmm. quantity, and for this, for this reason, uh, that product uh, gets too many times in supermarket, and your your quality is is, is poor, is yeah. better of mm -hmm. the quality of the open markets. Yeah, for sure. It's always a lot fresher at a, an open market, right? Um, because it hasn't had to be shipped overseas on a boat and wherever it came from. <laughs> kind of. Yes. Certain, yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but there's the convenience, right? So some people like Firkin and John are kind of arguing, you know, it's more convenient. Um, you don't feel rushed. Um, Actually, John, can you ex can you explain what you've typed here? Uh, okay, what I mean is that not necessarily not necessarily they are poor people. I mean no, they they earn uh, a lot of money. They handle a lot of cars every day. I I I have seen. I I know some people. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have family in those places. Mm -hmm. They they are prosperous people. They have the house, uh, lands, cars, <laughs> but they, I mean, they are not highly educated. I mean, the way they do business, the way they treat with other people. So that's why I don't like, because it's more, it's more uh, a strict, a strict selling. <laughs> okay. Strict sales. Also. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Do you think it's the same everywhere, or it depends on... Where you are, uh, where here, where I live, uh, where I do live is that that kind of places. It uh, is more, almost similar, mm -hmm. almost similar. It's yeah. it's a kind of mess. <laughs> yeah, um, I found in Paris when I was living in Paris, um, I always I don't know if you I would talk about going to the market sometime, but I always um, bought my produce and everything from markets. But because it was such a big city, um, the vendors would be really creepy sometimes. I think it's because they like thought everyone was a tourist, and I kind of was, but I lived there. <laughs> and they'd be like, "Hey, pretty lady, like whistling, like come buy some apples." I'm like, "Oh my god, come on!" Yeah, and yeah, they would I, I not just that. Me, like all of the girls that are walking by. They're like the vendors are whistling at you, and it's just like this is ridiculous. But That's then, what I mean. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the same everywhere. I, I think it maybe depends, because that was Paris. It's a big city. But here in my small town, they would never do something like that. So I, I know what you mean, John. It's the way that they kind of work people sometimes, right? It depends. I don't know. Um, Perkin? Oh, we lost them. <laughs> Any other ideas about this? Markets, open air markets? Like, I think for some people it's a moral thing. They like to know that they're buying from the source. For other people, it's convenient, it's fresh. Um, okay. Here's another question. Oops. Actually, let's take a look at this little article. It's really short. I want to just read this together quickly, and then we'll talk a little bit about it, okay? So it's just more on the topic. Zoom in here. I don't know if I can get it any bigger. Can you guys see that? Yes. Okay. No, I don't see... I don't see... No. Okay, now I do. Okay, the article's also attached to the class, 
class materials if you want to download it. What, um, is, it? what is the link? Here, I'll find it for you. One sec. Um, let me just... Ah, here it is. There you go. It's in the chat there, the link. Thank you. Okay. Um, so let's take a look. Um, uh, Firkin, did you want to say something before we read it? You you kind of left mid-word there. <laughs> I don't know what, what part of you heard, but I was saying that it depends on what you're buying. If you're buying something expensive, for example, if you go to a tech, tech shop, if you look at you know USBs or SDs, something cheap, they don't uh, help you. But if you go towards laptops or LCD TVs, they will try to help you and they will try to understand what's your expectations from a computer. I remember one time I was just looking at the computers and trying to understand what is that. And they were like, uh, are you a student? What kind of student are you? Which major are you in in the college? Or this with this question, they're trying to understand you, and probably it will be worse if you're trying to buy a car. They will never leave you alone. Yeah, trying to figure out exactly what you need so yeah. that they can sell it to you, right? Yeah. Mhm. Mm do you think they do that with food? In supermarkets, no, <laughs> they don't no. care what you need. <laughs> no. Um, markets maybe they might ask what you need and find it for you, Actually, but I don't yeah. think it's quite like buying a car, <laughs> right? Once my mom was was buying tomato, and the guy said, "Probably you're gonna prepare that specific deal meal, so I think you should buy lemon and eggplants with that." And <laughs> she bought it. All right, so he's good at his job, I guess. Upselling. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, let's take a quick look and then talk about this. Um, so maybe, Mustafa, could you read the first paragraph for us? Okay. So, are you a consumer with a conscience? Your conscience tells you when something is right or wrong. It sometimes reminds you not to buy something expensive that you don't need. Your conscience may also tell you to buy a little more for something that is made in a responsible way. Fair trade is a system that tries to give to give producers in developing countries the money they deserve. Popular fair trade items include coffee, tea, and chocolate. Do you look at the labels when you buy these items? Good. Rodolfo, do you want to read the next part for us? Yes. Uh, products are, products that, that are made far away are sometimes the least expensive. How can it be? It's simple. Mass-produced goods are often made by people who receive extremely low wages. The working environment in develop, developing countries may be unsafe and unfair. Production may even involve child labor. This is what the fair trade movement tries to fix. Good. Sergio, the next part for us. Okay. Uh, in some countries, okay, in some countries women are not able to earn money. The fair trade system helps women earn money by selling handmade goods such as clothing, bags and other artifacts. As a consumer, you can support a single talent, seem trust, and have children instead of a box store. Good. Claudio? Paying a little more for fair trade goods is a, is a way for consumers to reduce profit around the world. However, not everyone can afford to do this. Some people live paycheck to paycheck. They can only afford the lowest price at the local chain store. Good. And the last one, um, we haven't heard from Gyro. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
How are li yeah. mm -hmm. How labor is fair trading labor? Can you be sure that your firm is family will be benefit if you pay extra for your coffee? Criticize of uh, fair trade double this. Um, they believe it's company that benefit from the high price some of fair trade cop ops uh copper corrupt 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 copper corporation include yep. Cor corruption corruption include mm -hmm. false labels or not pay farming they require minimal wage it's difficult for that fair trade labor organization organization to mm -hmm. enter enforce enforce fair trade practices in farm around the world should consumer to uh, should consum consumers consumer to their own rich Riches? Research. Research. Good, research, good. What does corruption mean? Are you asking Corrupt. to everyone? Everyone, yeah, everyone. What does it mean, corruption or to be corrupt? Uh, it's not... They're not doing their job right. And, uh, corruption. Just corruption right. is... For Brazil, for Brazil. <laughs> Corru corruption. We all know about corruption. <laughs> corruption like is everywhere. not illegal. Chara? It's not legal. Corruption, I mean, uh, I think it's not legal or uh, true. Something true or something uh, reliable. Mm -hmm. Claudia, what were you going to add? Oh, in Brazil, it's really easy for <laughs> for <laughs> us to know corruption because in this moment, our corrupt. governments mm -hmm. are, are still <laughs> still <laughs> stolen of Brazil, and we are really nervous because it um, uh, corruption. I think mean when the government uh, take the money of the people of the country. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So we hear it a lot with government, the go corrupt, corrupt government, corrupt politicians. Um, same with corporations, right? Corrupt corporations, they're um, taking, taking these massively produced products and only paying a very, very small amount to the people who are making them. Ismail, what were you going to say? Uh, Ismail? Yes? Were you going to add something to corruption? No, sir. No. Okay, sorry, I thought I heard you saying something. Um, so, they've told us... Um, let me put this back up. So... Critics of fair trade are doubtful of certain things, right? So they've kind of to described what exactly it is. We've talked about that a little bit, um, why it exists. But they're saying some critics of fair trade doubt this, right? They're asking how reliable is fair trade labeling? Can you be sure that a farmer's family will benefit if you pay extra for your coffee? So some people believe that companies are actually benefiting from these higher prices. So they're labeling things fair trade and then they're not actually fair trade, they're just keeping the money. What What do you guys think? Is that possible? Yes. Money talk, Samantha. Money talk. I think that it's possible. It's okay. Do you think it's There's likely? an organization who inspect this uh, fair trade labeling and all the uh, process, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. And if a big company uh, 
give money to this organiz organization which are control the companies it is possible to give them fair trade labeling and all the uh, thing I think okay any other thoughts on on that do you think that these food corporations might be a little bit corrupt is it possible <laughs> Of course, why not? Of course. <laughs> of course. So do you think that they would try to find a way around the system? They might. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know exactly the word corporate. Corrupt. Corporate. Uh, corrupt. Corrupt. Right. Or corruption. Okay, so we've got corruption and we have corporation. They're, they sound similar, right? So, corruption. Corruption is the first word I typed there. And we were saying um, when someone or a group is corrupt, they're dishonest, immoral. Usually yeah. they're taking money from, from the poor if it's a government or they're taking things from someone else immorally. Mm -hmm. A corporation is a company. Mm -hmm. Like a big um, company is a corporation. Um, like like Coca Cola we were talking about earlier. That's ah, a, okay. a corporation. Co co corporation. Or like you, Warner Brothers for movies. That's a corporation. Disney is a corporation. So it just means a company. Ah, okay. Okay? So two different words. They sound similar. <laughs> so I'm asking, okay. are there corrupt corporations? <laughs> That's the question. Okay. Ah, okay. I, okay. I yeah. Um, here's another question. They mentioned the word conscience. What is your conscience? Uh, think, you know, think mm -hmm. about your ethics and morals. Your ethics, morals. Principles. Mm. Part of a moral compass. Yeah. <clears throat> You know a compass that points you north, right? Your compass when you're walking around. So your moral, your moral compass is like the compass in your mind telling you what is right, what is wrong. Mm -hmm. um, Selection ability. Yeah. Which so are do you false, think, which are true. Do you think you're a consumer with a conscience? Does your conscience guide you when you buy things? Or do you just buy whatever? My conscience gets his orders from the price. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's more of the conscience of your wallet that guides you. <laughs> okay. Anyone uh, else? Cyril? But I, I think uh, the the announce or propagation are march uh, outdoor. Uh, propaganda television is contributing for people buy more and more. Uh, if you're a uh, friend, okay, if you buy no, not in order, you buy something you don't like or do not want. Because nowadays, uh, wherever you go, wherever you see in computer, in newspaper, there are many propagation of the products. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, you can buy it for credit card. Uh, it's facilitated for. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's simulated conscious uh, buyer more and more. I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other ideas about being a conscious well, consumer? Some of in my case, I to be honest, I. I'm not a consumer with conscience, but my lifestyle is a very, very simple. I, I, uh, I, don't, I, I, I don't, don't like uh, uh, things of right cost. Some things maybe, but I, I care that things for uh, so that really during. Uh, 
many times, much, many times, and or or much time, a lot of time, <laughs> and for this, I, I think that I, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I, I don't think in conscience when I am in the supermarket, I just. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> You're just like, like throwing things in the cart, whatever. Yes, yes. When, when I'm hungry. I, I don't have time for this. <laughs> when I you, when I you buy one phone, I, I, I don't think that company. Oh, that company have employees. I I I know that I'm wrong, but but I I think that a uh, 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 a little change in lifestyle, um, Heather, uh, if the people don't 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 buy, don't consumer all that the people can see or or can consume. Yeah, I think that it's it is. It can uh, less the problems of the okay. uh, wrong console, wrong customer. Sorry. Decrease the problem. Decrease the problem. Yes, uh, decrease the problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For sure. I okay. I mean, honestly, I'm the same way. I go shopping and I buy what's on sale because I'm cheap. Um, but I buy a lot of produce from farmers markets because it's actually a lot cheaper sometimes but um, <laughs> uh, okay. um, but also I like to buy produce from markets because I do like to know where I'm getting it <laughs> but for, for other stuff like cereal and I don't know like coffee and I'll just buy it at the grocery store so I, I shop at both personally I don't know uh, yeah I I I think I I organize more or less uh, sometimes, but you know in my city it's now it's closed very very cheap. I uh, <laughs> take the opportunity for buy more <laughs> more clothes <laughs> every okay. week. I when you go when you go to the shop, I see you in the store. <laughs> I buy many many clothes because right. it's now a uh, cheap, very very cheap in, mm -hmm. in my city. All right. Um. Okay. Does anyone have any final words on fair trade shopping at markets? Uh, I I want I let ask question. What is a fair trade? What does it mean? Can you tell me another similar phrase? Sure. Can anyone after what after what we've talked about? Can anyone explain quickly what is fair trade? Uh, sorry. Can you repeat it? What is what? what does fair trade mean? What is, is fair trade? Rules, fair trade mean oh. I, I I can I can I can explain quickly if only in Portuguese. <laughs> okay, well maybe All we'll have to Brazilian. turn on our translation. <laughs> I can't speak Portuguese, um, but so fair trade it's fairly traded goods. So if something is fairly traded, it means that it's being traded or exchanged from one uh. place to another fairly. Mm. And the fairly right. means that they're paying the farmer a fair amount of money for their goods. Ah, uh, fair trade. I understand. So yeah. not not exploiting the. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I get you. Cool. Um. Any other questions? Anything to add before we go? <laughs> no. no. Okay. No. Okay. Um. Here's all my links. Got Facebook and Facebook and Twitter and all sorts of stuff there. Private lessons, so check it out. Um, you can always send me messages with your questions, and see you soon. Thanks for coming. It was an interesting yes, talk, uh, as always. Uh, thank you. See thank you soon, you. guys. See you later. Bye. bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.